Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you our Asset Transfer Management System version 1.0. You can use this system to manage the asset transfer within your organization. It will help you to manage the asset transfer between the departments or between the different users. The key features of this system is we have given the login with the admin and user role access. We have given the user management form also to manage the users, roles and the passwords as well as we have given the manage list form to manage the drop downs of the whole system. You can use the date range selection for filtering the data as per your requirement as well as we have given the multiple sort and filter option to use the data as per your requirement. We have given the data entry form to add and update the record of the asset transfer between the departments as well as you can track the history also for any record so that you can see the audit trail also as you want. We have given the export to excel button also to fetch the data into the new excel file for the further analysis or the reporting purpose. Now I will show you how you can use this system in Microsoft Excel. After downloading from our website, you will get this zip file. First you need to unzip this. So just right click and extract all and say extract. So this is the file which we have to use. Just right click and go to the properties and first we have to unblock this file and apply and OK. Now just open this file. So this is the login form as you open the file it will be opened automatically and here you can use the user id and the password. The default user id is admin1 and the password is abcd in the small case. You can click on the login button or just hit the enter. Now this is the landing page or the main page. Here we have the all records of the asset transfer. You can select the all period to see the all data here. On the top left we have given one minimize and the maximize button so that you can minimize and the maximize the tool as per your requirement. If this system is not fit in your screen or is it is not looking good in your screen very small or very big then you can adjust the zoom label as per your requirement you can zoom it or you can make it zoom out also. Okay, and if you hover here, it will show you the zoom level. It is the name of the person or the ID of the person who has logged in and this is the role. Here we have given the few buttons. First is the user management. From here you can manage the users. You can add the new user like I'm adding a new user as PK. The password is ABCD and the role I'm adding here. Let's say user. You can click on this button that user will be added. You can update that user by using the double click here and let's say I want to make them admin and just click on this button and that is updated. Okay, you can change the password also. To delete any existing user, you can just select that user and say delete and that user will be deleted so that user will not be able to log in again. Okay, this is the manage list. You can click here and you can see the list of the category. You can select the another list uh, like department or the condition. So we have three drop down list here. You can add the new list as you want. Let's say for category, I want to add a new list and click on this button that will be added and you can delete this by selecting say delete and that will be deleted. All right. Now here we can see the date that is transfer date. So this is the entry form and here you can enter your data. By default, it will take the today's date. However, you can change this, this date using this calendar. Let's say I'm selecting here 8th Feb and then I'm putting the asset name. Let's say I'm putting here laptop 5 and then the contact number. I'm just putting some dummy number here. Then the email ID I'm putting here some dummy email id and then the category i'm just selecting one category here like this asset is the laptop projector and if you think that asset is not appearing here you can add the new asset here in the category you can just add uh, let's say this is the new asset and i'm saying this is mobile and click on this 
and just close so that should appear here if it is not appearing you can click on this refresh button that will be refreshed and it will appear here now you can select the department similar to this you can add the new department from here and you can click on this refresh that will be added and two department also then transferred by you can put the name of the person so let's say i'm putting here pk and received by let's say i'm putting here jack the condition it was fair and you can put some remarks also if you want and just hit the submit as you click on the submit button you can see that new record is appearing here okay you can uncheck this to see the data only for the selected date range and you can change this date range as you want let's say i want to see the fab data only so i can simply select here first fab till you can select the end date whatever you want by default it is taking today's date and just refresh and we can see only one record is there okay let's say i'm selecting all period then i will show you you can apply the filter also you can just select here asset name the laptop so as i put here laptop i refresh this so wherever the asset name laptop is available it will select automatically okay so let me select here and refresh all so you can apply the filter as you want now here i am just selecting any name so let's say i am selecting here transfer date and i can use the ascending and descending order as i want so the data will be sorted according to the transfer date or let's say i'm saying category so this will be sorted by the category okay you can see this data is sorted okay or from department so you can decide how you want to sort this to update any existing record you can just double click here or you can select the record and click on this button then it will fill the whole information and you can change whatever you want to change let's say i'm selecting uh, this condition and just submit now that record has been updated uh, it was the record number 15 and again if you want to update and putting some remarks here and you submit this again so we have submitted this twice now i can see the transaction history of this record also so i can simply select and uh, let's go to the so record history now we can see the record history and we have updated multiple times so it is showing that information here okay so that is how you can see the transaction history for any record and if you want to delete any record you can just simply select that record and say delete record so that record will be deleted now if you want to send the whatsapp to the to this contact number and if you want to open the web whatsapp window so you can simply click on this whatsapp icon and it will open the web whatsapp window for this particular contact number okay and to open the email id to open a blank email in the outlook for this email id you can just click on this button so it will open the email in outlook let me show you if i click on this record then you can see so it has opened one blank email you can see that is for that user okay so that is how you can use this and to export the data into the excel whatever data is appearing here for the all period or for the selected period you can just click export to excel now it will export the data into the new excel file and you can see the whole data is available here so you can use it for the further analysis if you want all right so that is how you can use this asset transfer management system and like i mentioned to update any record you can simply double click and it will show that the id also here so for which id you want to update okay friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watch